Hey, 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 how you doing? Happy Wednesday, it's Leona, how's it going? I hope you are well and I hope you are good. It's another Wednesday at 7 p.m. GMT. I'm ready to go, I am ready to go. I've got a brand new artwork to share with you today which I'm so excited about. I feel like this is a, like a brand new journey into this artwork so I'm so excited to finally get there and share it with you um, I've also got some really great news to share with you um, so we're gonna have a great time we're gonna read from the book oh the books over there I'm gonna have to go and get the book <laughs> it's like just literally just over there we're gonna read from the book a bit later so as you know the schedule usually goes first 15 minutes chit chat like here then we do about half an hour of painting and then we do about 15 minutes of reading from the book talking about a different color um what color should we talk about today which ones haven't we talked about yet do you know what i mean hey halo how you doing happy wednesday welcome welcome um what colors have we talked about so far so we talked about yellow we've talked about blue we've talked about pink we've talked about green I don't think we've talked about orange yet. I know we talked about ginger a little while ago, but we didn't specifically talk about orange. Hey Alicia, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, happy Wednesday. Um, hi Emma, welcome, how you doing? How's it going, have you been? So we're just trying to work out which colors that we haven't spoken about yet. So I definitely know that it's orange. We haven't really spoken about white, although a while ago we did chat a little bit about white, but we didn't kind of really go into it from that specific book. Um, so we got orange, we've got white. We haven't talked about black, but I'm never that keen to talk about black, but like we should do it. <laughs> Just because I hardly ever use black as a colour, but it is so important, so we should talk about it. Hey Grace, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, happy Wednesday. Have you been? I was first this time, you were, yay! We've talked about blue, yellow, green, purple and pink. Emma, thank you so much for clarifying. I mean, that's what I need in my life. Someone that can just go, there you go. Thank you very much. Hey, Angeli, good morning to you. How you doing, sweet pea? Thank you for coming in. We missed you last week. How is your situation? You are right. Halo, how are you going? We dedicated the stream last week to the Texans sending them all the love because of the situation um so i hope it's kind of rectifying itself more than not i mean good evening oh it's good evening for me but it's good morning for you oh no it's afternoon for you right it's 1 p.m i'm sure someone's gonna come when, in where it's the morning for them <laughs> oh it's this last time <laughs> yeah well that's true that is true angeli I always run out of black first, do you? It depends what you kind of get obsessed with. I always have tons of black paint left over. Interestingly, when I used to work on sets, I always used to use black all the time and nothing but black. Like black was just something that I always had to buy loads and loads and loads of. But now in my own art, I don't really use black that much. Uh, but we must talk about it. Oh, we haven't talked about brown. Like how can we forget about brown? Hello. <laughs> It's summer already in Texas. <laughs> Did you mean that it's just like completely changed? <gasps> Me too, do you? Um, uh, so we got, okay, so we got brown. These are the ones we got to choose from. We got brown, we got orange, we got white, we got black. So it's about blue, yellow, green, purple, and pink. Um... And we talked about red. We did talk about red, Emma. I think you might have missed that one. But we did talk about red, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we've spoken about... Yeah, we did. We 100% spoke about red. We did. So we've done the primary colours. Orange is the only one left of the secondary colours. Black and white and brown. And grey. Grey is really important. You know? Isn't the technical term for black the lack of colour? Well, yeah, it's like, it's like white is all the colours, but that's in light, isn't it? It's not in colour, it's in light, which you could argue is colour. 
Um, it was snowing in Texas, right? Oh, yeah, they had lots of snow. <laughs> Brown is life, literally the colour of earth, cheese, so many animals, rocks, mountain. Exactly, exactly. So I'm in my painting today, I'm probably going to be using yellow, which doesn't help. <laughs> from seven degrees to 70 in a week you are joking that is bonkers banana pants i can't believe it are you serious what is going on in the world omg omg i've never been in snow the part of california i i mean never get snow i've only been in ice oh well, when you're ice skating or something snow is nice but you only really want it very very fleetingly because otherwise it's just like no um no joke wow that's kind of worrying hey <laughs> brown is also chocolate thank you alicia for <laughs> for getting the priory straight i appreciate that brown is also chocolate it's true and it's also the color of tea so what can you do you can't really go wrong can you I'm sorry, I'm so thirsty. I've been so busy today. I've been like... Um, so yeah, before we get started, I'd love to tell you about something new and exciting that's happening. Next week, instead of a stream, I'm going to be doing a live Zoom masterclass. Now this has come, this idea came to me through doing these streams because I've been so excited doing these streams, talking about colour, we always talk about colour, we work in colour, colour is just the thing, right? So what I've decided to do next week is do a masterclass in colour where you will create an artwork that I will guide you through in its creation and you will be fully immersed in the color so similar to this where i kind of put all the projections on i will put on the color that we are going to be getting into and it's going to be an art class so you've got to bring your art materials you've got to bring every single thing that you have that you can use of the specific color that we're going to do and then i'm going to guide you in creating your own meaningful and emotional artwork based on how you associate with blue. So how you feel about blue, the things you think about with blue, everything blue. So next week is gonna be my blue Zoom masterclass. And fingers crossed, I'm gonna be doing this every single month. So the first Wednesday of every single month, going to be doing a masterclass on zoom where you can come in you don't have to put the camera on if you don't want to if you're like i don't want to show my face you don't have to show your face but it's going to be a way that i can actually teach you and we can talk about stuff back and forth so i hope you're really excited about that i'm going to put up my thing about it right now so if you're interested in that you can click on the link in the description i've put it right on the top that's the link on the screen there um and hopefully that's going to be happening every single month on the fun 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 that was such good timing. <laughs> hey, Miko, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday. Oh, I'm nice and big now. Whoop. Da 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 Hey Miko, how you doing sweetie? Happy Wednesday, how have you been? Hey Susan, welcome, welcome, how have you been? I might just put my camera on my art while I work. Yeah, so it's up to you. You can either do that or you can switch the camera off completely. You can literally kind of like show me your work and don't show your face or you can come on and show your face and have a chit chat with me. It'll be nice and like structured. So we'll be doing like the first 15 minutes, we'll be talking about the design and how you're gonna create it. 
then it's going to be about an hour of art making and then the last 15 minutes like finishing off and you can share with the group if you want to and if you don't want to share with the group you don't have to uh, but the option is there and it'd be quite lovely I think to like do that because obviously I can't see you guys in person um, and I think that'd be a really nice option to do so there you go so if you're interested in that click on the link in the description or you can see the link on the screen right now and I'd love to see you that'd be so cool come and join me oh yeah so tell me how you are tell me how you've been tell me what you're up to tell me all the things let's decide on a color that we're going to talk about for today the options are we've got orange we've got brown we've got black and we've got white now what i'm kind of thinking of is white because of my art that i have started to create which i'm going to talk to you about now so i think we should go for white unless we have any objections are there any objections to white raise your hand right now if you object to talking about white <laughs> let me know raise your hand now or forever hold your peace <laughs> as you do <laughs> brown <laughs> I've got the little book so I can find it out and see which one I think <laughs> come on guys you've got to vote now this is your chance this is the only bit of interactivity we can get on the stream so like let's do it let's do it tell me what color you want and we'll go for that and we'll do that a bit later um brown white is good oh we got two votes for brown it's important in mixing colors yeah it was like crucial it's crucial brown oh my god okay we got two votes for brown we got one vote for white we got another vote for white oh it's neck and neck <laughs> white is okay <laughs> whatever you want it's your channel yeah right it's true it's true let me see what let me see if there is a psychology of white in here because there should be like can you imagine if there wasn't and then i'd just be like well we've got brown let's just have a quick look there's green there's purple there's gray there's white okay it's i was gonna vote orange just to be different i think you should angeli i think you should you should definitely vote for the one uh that people don't vote for because that's your prerogative as a creative person you should always be like i want to be different yes it's me speak up or forever hold your peace um uh last week my little brother accidentally dropped his experiment with water on my laptop and it doesn't work anymore oh my gosh that's so annoying sweetie that's so annoying oh my god that is so frustrating i think what you have to do i know this sounds a bit crazy but you have to turn it upside down if you look on some videos on youtube of how to do it you turn up the laptop upside down and you let it kind of like drain off from the keyboard usually you can get them working again uh, it kind of does the uh, i'm talking about a mac actually i don't know about pcs but um hopefully you can get it working again because usually they're pretty robust they're more robust than you think they are plenty of people i know have dropped coffee on theirs i dropped coffee on mine once um and it's usually all right so carry on telling me how you've been and all that jazz i'm gonna tell you about my artwork that i've been creating so i'm so excited so if you remember from last time i created it was last week wasn't it yeah it was last <laughs> you know what it's like guys the days the days and the months it's all a bit bonkers right but um <laughs> last week i finished off the painting of the journey to clarity do you remember that one with the little road and the little tunnels that look like little sugary cute little things so i was on the way to the crystal so now i've began my journey through crystal world mm -mm 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 -mm. 
I'm on my iPad now. Bless you. Uh, sometimes you can save it with the vacuum. There you go. Thank goodness with the backup iPads. Yeah, it just really depends. It's true. It's true. Oh no, it's true. Sponging turned out pretty cool so far. Yeah, so so this is uh so if you remember oh who took oh so angelie and halo came on my quick stream that i did the other night um and i've basically made a brand new drawing actually i'll tell you what i'm just gonna go on to the big camera so this is my sketch of what i want it to look like and if you remember from last time let me just have a look if it is the one before yeah so if you remember I had drawn this one previously and I was like I want to create some kind of like crystal world something like this then I did a painting kind of a sketch painting and then I came up with this and I was like this is the thing I've been trying to make oh my god it's happening yes <laughs> hashtag crystal world <laughs> phones you can put in a bag of rice to dry out never tried with a laptop you can put it in a bag of rice really susan that is like amazing what a what a top tip susan with the top tips right there that looks really cool alicia thank you yes <laughs> i'll try <laughs> now looking for the biggest uh ziploc bag in the universe <laughs> So yeah, so I created this um, drawing, this pencil sketch, which I was really happy with. And the only thing that I didn't really do on this is do a really kind of a dark purple background, but I knew I wanted it to be kind of like a purple background, basically, but go into light colors. Then after doing this sketch, I did this one on the back wall here which i loved so much basically what i was doing was putting the white lines down beforehand and then i'm going to paint it over yellow uh just to give like a super 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 vibrancy because yellow is often quite transparent with acrylic paint and you have to get like really particular ones to make sure that it's really vibrant so i was painting on all these white lines and then i was like oh my god i actually really really like this like i'm really loving it so i thought i'd just paint it again because i was like i wanted to leave it white because it just looks proper nice <laughs> hashtag proper nice and so i was just so happy with it i just thought i'm gonna leave it so i've done another one so i've done another one down here and actually it's quite good here you can see the side by side i've done a slightly different purple a bit more sort of a pinky purple Whereas this one's more like a bluey purple. And I've added some more lines to this one. But I'm loving it. And this one I'm going to make with the whole kind of like yellow lines. Because it absolutely has to be yellow. It cannot be white. It's got to be yellow. But it's going to be quite detailed. It's going to probably be a bit more detailed than this. Um, so that's the story that's the story that's the fun that i've been having this week i'm just like oh my god i could paint this loads of times because like it's just i just feeling the vibe i'm totally feeling the crystal world vibe and actually i got the idea if you can see from that little sculpture there which if you follow me on instagram you may remember i'm gonna put my socials up just in case you don't follow me on instagram and i will follow you back if you're on there this little crystal world that i made i made a little sculpture to go in it and then i put myself in the little world walking around that's how much that's how committed i am to walking around in a crystal world like i'm even making sculptures about it do you know what i mean so does anyone have a ticket to a crystal world because i would like to go there does anyone want to come <laughs> and this all this has led to the idea of creating this zoom because i'm like i really want to get you fully immersed in a world because when you get fully immersed in a world you are just like transported and you don't need to go anywhere and because we can't go anywhere right now we're not allowed to go anywhere we have to make the best of what we got and actually you can trick your mind you can trick your mind into believing that you're actually kind of you've gone somewhere there is a scientific um 
what do you call it, like a scientific study that was done that proves that if you just imagine things, you actually get happier and you don't actually have to do those things to get the happiness. So for example, with holidays, if you just imagine that you're going on holiday and you just sit there and you visualize it and you visualize how it smells and how it looks and the experiences you have, it's actually the same, if not better than when you actually go. So the whole point is to transfer that into a world that I can create for you and you can experience and we're just so blessed to be able to have the technology to kind of do that which is so cool do you know what i mean <laughs> i hope you're getting my passion today guys because i'm feeling it i'm feeling i'm in the passion mode i'm in the passion zone um and it's happening and i'm trying to bring it to you so i hope you're feeling it <laughs> i like your sketches thank you susan thanks so much do you do that with your work do you sometimes sketch before uh, it works, my daughter drops her phone in the bath quite often. Ah, okay. So there we go, bag of rice. Who would have known? We've learned something new about that. Uh, that uh, I was about to say I always want to do that to try it, but I won't. <laughs> oh, well, I just realised you did two different paintings. Yeah, I repeated it. And then this one, can you see it's got more lines at the bottom? And it's a slightly different colour. Um, and I prefer it. It's a bit more spacious around here as well but yeah i was just i was just totally buzzing about it totally happy i love them that white really glows quite celestial thank you so much susan i'm getting there i'm getting to the point like i've had like lots of visualizations of this kind of image before for a long time like literally since from my 20s so this is kind of like oh and the Alex Gray painting, do you remember me showing you from last week? That has been like a huge influence to me as well. Um, but I've kind of, I see something different. I don't see the thing that he sees. I see something different when I get in the zone and visualise it myself. So yeah. I've only been here for 15 minutes, but of course soon. I love the stream so far. Have a great day. Bye, 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 Grace. Thank you for dropping in. Super lovely of you. Lovely to have you with us crystal queen so yeah so uh, yeah so i'm so excited to kind of do it so let me know what art you've been doing and what you've been up to and all that jazz i'd love to know and let me know what kind of worlds you want to get into do you know what i mean do you want to like dive into a particular world of something like if you could dive into any world when i've asked kids this before they usually say uh i want to dive into a food world <laughs> kids love diving into food worlds like if you do anything on fast food or anything like that they're like i want to be in candy world in sweet world in hamburger world in pizza world <laughs> i think that's why i love teaching kids so much because i relate to them on that level <laughs> of the being immersed in a world thing not necessarily a fast food <laughs> so yeah so i'm gonna do a little bit of painting let's do a tiny little bit of painting and then we'll go and we'll get the book and we'll make the decision i do feel like white has been made the decision of white has been made um yeah i do feel like it's gonna be white because i use a lot of brown and i use a lot of orange in my work as well so i feel like there will be a perfect opportunity to do that another time another brief chat about that all right so let's get it going on let's get this going on we've got how long we got we've got about 15 minutes of painting happening oh we've chat it's been half an hour already look at that the time the time we're just flying by today are you feeling that how are you feeling recently do you feel like time's flying by do you feel like time's going like so slow that you're like what's happening now tell me how you're feeling about time right now because time feels like a bit of an illusion doesn't it it's a bit like it's a bit it can be a bit a bit what's the word i'm looking for um illusory <gasps> It can be a bit illusory. That is the word I'm looking for. Right. I'm gonna get out some, how are we doing on the screen? Are we doing good? We are doing 
fan dabby dozy so we'll get a bit of this and we'll get a bit of this and i think what i'm gonna do now according to my sketch what i'm gonna do is um I might leave a like tiny bit of white in there but really these are going to be kind of like a well I've got this as like golden yellow and then I've got this as like a lemony yellow so maybe I'll put the lemony yellow on first and then we'll go from there I want to try and keep it to the design uh, so slow the winter storm made it feel like time stopped it really does like it really does when it snows you kind of get really encapsulated in that whole thing and depending on obviously how much it affects you um yeah it can be a bit much though can't it it just can like really take everything over you don't have to be a kid to want to be in a sushi world i'm with you angeli let's get the sushi going on <laughs> Oh, I love sushi so much. They do this one in, um, uh, what's the place called near me? Which I actually haven't had now thinking about it. I haven't had it for like a year or more. Um, but there's a restaurant near us and they do one where you have this really lovely dip with it. So you know how with sushi, you usually just have like the soy sauce but in this place they do this really gorgeous dip with it which makes it really luscious and then they do like the fried onions with it which is really unique oh it's so good it's so good time is going really slowly but then realize a lot of time has passed yeah I feel like it's gone super super quick the only time I feel like it's gone slowly is when it's been like a kind of a, a holiday so when it like a holiday so when it's like being christmas around christmas time it felt like the time just went so slow um and last year last year sort of at the beginning of everything it felt like it went slow but i think because i've been setting up so many things like i've got the academy going on um and all that because i've been creating so much i've been using up my time as much as i possibly can because you know in the next few months we're going to be back in person properly um so it's going to be nice to be able to run those two things parallel to have the in-person stuff and the online stuff um angeli you got to join the academy you got to join up come and join us susan's a member come and join you're gonna love it it's so much fun and you get the zoom class for free if you're a member you get it for free so it's almost like you might as well sign up to be a member and then you've got the zoom class as well do you know what i mean um i think it's also the pandemic making time feel of course i love fried onions on my sushi i didn't know that it was a thing until i went to this particular restaurant i don't know hadn't had it before um yeah time feels weird to me now the pandemic i love sushi all oh, family hate it though really let's go <laughs> halo should be able so halo from showing off studio should be able to tell us a thing or two about sushi because she's got to be like the chief sushi maker the high priestess of sushi making you have to excuse me i have to drink so much tea today i'm so thirsty all right now i did buy some new brushes and they didn't arrive which is really really annoying because by the time i got to this stage i wanted to be using new brushes but never mind what can you do what can you do i'm gonna do the light yellow thing and we'll see how we go and then we can always change it the good thing about acrylic is you can change your mind if i was using gouache which i've done all my mandalas in gouache you can't change your mind on a color because you can't paint over it so you have to be like super super decisive about it so the moral of the story is if you're indecisive don't use gouache 
I was very decisive with my artworks. Once I know what I'm doing, I go for it. But this is a new artwork. This is like new playtimes. This is like different things are happening. So I'm going to go with it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this and we'll see how we get on. So I was going to do this and then these are going to be more golden. This is going to be golden. So we've got this that's golden, this that's golden and this. Yeah, so let's do this, this lighter colour. The good thing is, is that like there's going to be quite, uh, at least I'll do quite a big chunk today so you'll know it's a difference. Whereas before in that other painting, I kind of didn't do that much for you to really notice that much, did I? Anyway, we're in the crystal world now, guys. We're in there. We got there. We got there. Uh, I know I keep forgetting. Oh, sweetie. Come come and join. Come and join. Um, I miss sushi. It's so expensive. Nearby place here. Well, that's the thing. If you make it... It's not that expensive like if you get all the bits and you get like a big pack of like nori loads of rice um, and then all your bits for inside it it's actually doesn't it's not that expensive the only thing is, is you can't make up two big batches can you because it of rice not being able to um, keep for too long you can't make up like massive batches but um it's so good <laughs> it's just so good loving it loving it loving it loving it loving it yeah so these are all going to be more golden they're gonna have i will see anyway but I have a feeling that I could paint this a lot of times. Like I was, this is almost something like that I could get so much joy out of that I could end up maybe even selling it. Because that's the thing when you're selling stuff, you've got to really, really, really love it. Do you know what I mean? So you've got to love making it. You know? Susie is cheap. Make it. Exactly. 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 you got to be careful though because we do get a nori that isn't that nice when you get it in a really massive quantity. So I think we've got to change the brand. It's like it's all right but we've had nicer. Um, literally about $2 to make a family meal. ka -ching, Get down on it. I paint a lot in watercolour. Need to be super decisive, super decisive with that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to have some watercolour on it. I'm actually going to mix watercolour with the acrylic to get these kind of like transparent effects. Like I don't know if you can sort of see, but the idea is that it's kind of like semi sort of transparent around here. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, I need. Uh, yeah, I kind of need to learn. I failed and got rice everywhere the last time. Oh, sweetie. It looks really cool right now. Alicia, you're so lovely. Thank you, sweet pea. We get in there. So that's that. And then we've got this one which I've got on the drawing as kind of golden as well. But what I'm going to do, I think, is just do it a tiny bit darker. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, if you're working out an artwork, then you've got to, like, you got, I would suggest using acrylic, unless you're obsessed with something else. Um... If you're a beginner, you want to learn, you want to use acrylic for sure. I mean, it doesn't really matter what you use. That's what I, that's what I would advise. 
especially for vibrancy but you start out with watercolour when you're at school so you know doesn't really matter what you get you could get like some paints from the dollar tree and you'd still be fine they're not that great <laughs> but it doesn't matter if you're just starting out <laughs> it looks really cool right now it looks so lovely i just want to read your message again shiny yay it's like a crystal eye right now yeah i thought you could actually have this pretty much any way up like you could have it this way which would be pretty cool um that makes it kind of look a bit like a crystal eye as well but this way i like it because i wanted it the energy to be shooting up that was my thoughts oh yeah right so i'm going to paint a little bit more yellow and then we'll get on to the um we'll get on to the book in about 10 minutes So this one's going to be golden as well. So that's that. Let's do that. I've got another song in my head today, guys. I've got a Bowie song in my head. I want to sing it for you really quick. Golden years, golden years, pop, pop, pop. what song have you got on your mind and halo don't sing that song <laughs> i'm only joking you can sing whatever you whatever you blue well like <laughs> but don't remind me of it <gasps> acrylic awards colors both are relatively inexpensive and easy to find yes yes thank you for saying it very succinctly if you use thinners or thickeners, the craft paints can be just as good as the snooty expensive kind. Oh, the snooty expensive kind. It's true. You can also put PVA into cheap paints, like PVA glue, the white glue. Um, I think you guys have Elmer's glue, which is the equivalent in the US. Um, if you add that into paints, they make it really nice and it makes it really glossy. Um, <laughs> book time. <laughs> book it. <laughs> <laughs> she said it she said it big bang bong that's it that's it <laughs> that's it that's it can't be done i've got the, the david bowie one has trumped it because i think i was singing that i think i was singing big bang bong for a for a good while good week at least <sighs> didn't know Brits say Bowie we say Bowie or Bowie it really is interchangeable um you can use Elmer's I'm pretty sure Elmer's glue is white PVA right it's white glue yeah remind me it's definitely I'm definitely no, I'm not definitely sure I'm 50% sure <laughs> let's get some percentages on this I'm 50% sure that Elmer's glue is PVA glue and if it is, you can mix it with cheap, 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 cheap paints, tempera paints, paints that have got too much chalk in them, uh, poster paints, cheap paints, and make it glossy. Hashtag make it glossy. <laughs> I feel like we could we could do this we could do this on the stream we could do this like look i wonder if it'd come up oh no i can't do it now um it's turned my world upside down which could also be a value reference from the labyrinth and the world falls down um it's pva yeah it is pva i thought so just didn't know you could use it that way. Yes, it's a classic. That's a classic move. Classic move. Put the PVA inside there. Done. Thank you. You're welcome. Life has been sorted out today. We've sorted it all out.
so there is a very subtle difference between these yellows but i don't know if you guys can notice that subtle i think you can just about notice learning all the things The things have been learnt, discovered, rediscovered, reapplied, recentralized, rejuvenized, rejuvenated, and exercised. And now we shall jazzercise. <laughs> Gonna make him a final one. <laughs> jazzercise. <laughs> Don't know where that came from. Um, probably from the AUs. Uh, I bought some amazing stuff called Dr. PH Martin Bleed Proof White. Tiny bottle, quite expensive, but paints over gouache and watercolour mistakes. Amazing. Amazing. Does it also stop it cracking? Because that's the issue with gouache, isn't it? That it cracks. So if you paint over it too many times, you just get it cracking. And then it's like, that's annoying. Okay, Leona, I'm going to test that out on the next stream. You do that. You do that, girl. Check out Halo Stream on Twitch every Monday. Uh, that's interesting. Like you paint Elm's glue on top of your paint to make it shiny. No, you can't do. You, well, you can do that, but you can mix it together. You could just put it on the top, but it's better to mix it in because it depends on the consistency of the paint, and it might just create a film over the top which is okay if that's what you want, but you wanna probably put it inside. Jay, hi, welcome, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, happy Wednesday. How do you make cyan? So cyan's a kind of a turquoise, isn't it? So you would wanna make a light blue and then add some green in it. So make a blue with yellow, yellow, yeah. Make, sorry, make a green with yellow and blue and then add that to a light blue. So yellow, blue, white, and then you just want to like kind of do varying degrees of how you up and down, go up and down with the green. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I feel like I've overcomplicated it. <laughs> but yeah, it's basically like cyan is like a light blue essentially. So blue and white. And if you want to make it slightly more turquoise, then you add a bit of green and you make green with yellow and blue. There we go. Succinctly said. Yeah, that's interesting. Do you mix the PVA or Elmer's glue into the paint over or over a finished painting? I recommend that you mix it into the paint that you are painting with. So for example, here, if I wanted it to wanted to mix it in, I'd just squeeze it in now and then paint it on, right? So not over the top. Because that's another thing. That's kind of like protecting a surface. Like you use PVA, like builders PVA. They use for like sealing up brickwork and stuff like that. So it's more like a seal if you're doing it over the top. Guys, you're getting all the tips today. All the tips. Hey, Craig, how you doing? Happy Wednesday. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Finally caught you live. How have you been? How's everything going? Um... You got jazzercise from Shown Off Studio Influence. Oh, that's true because of the what's her face, that character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incidentally, doesn't she wear purple? Oh my god, have we had another inception moment? I think we've just had another inception moment, guys. Uh I don't know. I mostly use watercolour rather than gouache. Oh, that's really interesting to know though, Susan. Thanks for that. That's great. That's very useful. That's what these streams are all about. Everyone kind of like putting their heads together and like suggesting things and all that kind of stuff. It's really useful. I hope everyone is well and in good spirits. Well, they better be now, Craig. <laughs> That's the aim of this stream. So I'm hoping everyone's feeling a bit more chipper. <laughs> 
I gotta go now. The stream was lots of fun. I really enjoyed it. Have a great week. Bye. Bye, Alicia. Thank you for joining, darling. Check out the link in the description if you want to come join the Zoom next week. There won't be a stream next week. It will be a Zoom. So come and join. I'm going to put it up again. So you guys can see. Next week. Next Wednesday, 7pm GMT. Come and do some art with me. And let's do it together. It's going to be super fun. More information, artsresource.co.uk forward slash adults hyphen art hyphen classes hyphen online. Um, like light blue, a spot of green and white. Yes. Good, good, good. <laughs> Angela's taking notes. She's like, right. The, incidentally, there's a really good thing to do, right? Is have like an art journal and like write down all these things. That is a really, really, really good idea to have, especially when you're starting out, especially when you're a beginner. It's really, really good to have that for sure. Um, this is looking really nice. I'm really chuffed. I need to do this one as well. This one needs to be, right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this one here as well and then we'll do the book all right so we'll have another five minutes painting and then we shall do the book oh yeah because I feel like I want to get another layer done you know what I mean jelly bean do you know what I mean and then we're going to talk about white because it ties in with the whole thing all right <laughs> we gotta have it tying in we can't talk about brown on a day where we've got white <laughs> where we've got predominantly white happening i think this is telling us what's happening right okay so let's get this we've got this slightly darker Yeah, I was loving creating this the other day. So first of all, I did a, made a sponged background. And as you can see, I did it twice. This is the one that I did on... <laughs> Craig! <laughs> Craig, you've been spoken to. It's just probably gone off. It's probably doing the dishes or something. <laughs> this is the one that I did on the... Um, uh, on Facebook. And then this is the one I did like... Monday I think and I just was loving it it's such a lovely technique and yeah like I said I think it's just so much fun to do that I could see myself making quite a lot of these I feel like I could just really like because it's just quite fun doing all the lines you know once you get the right paintbrush for things as well it makes everything like super easy you know you know um <laughs> Craig how are you hello <laughs> Leona I'll promote your stream if I can actually do the glue paint test yeah <laughs> if you wanna yeah gonna be life changing and let's oh i'm not supposed to be going on there what am i doing I'm supposed to be going here yeah unless elmer's has got something weird in it but i don't think it should have i don't think it should have So here we are on another Wednesday. Another Wednesday of happiness. Banish those hump day feelings. On the stream. And next week on the Zoom. <sighs> oh.
I have to, I have yet to bust out my sponges. I bought some cheap sponges. Yeah, sponges are dead cheap. Again, dollar store, pound shop. You get like 20 for a pound. So, just the tip. <laughs> I'm here and I'll quit. <laughs> it's all happening. It's all happening. All right, let's get this bit done and then we'll talk about why. Do you have any white stories about the colour white? I remember we read in the other book about white and how in the plague, during the times of the plague, they used to wash the doors. If someone had the, had the plague, they would wash the doors in white to say that that house was infected. Like, how crazy is that? I wonder if that comes up in this book. Because I haven't actually pre-checked it, as you know, because I haven't decided what it was going to be. Um, Sherry came from our robot side is our character. Oh, my God. It's because we've been friends for so long. Just influencing each other. Yeah. She did wear purple, right? Let's, let's do it together. I feel like I want to type there is like a little type thing here but I don't know if it will kind of come up or if it will mess up the stream but I could type in the hashtags and then have it in the corner shall I try it let me know if you want me to try it and I'll see if it works but I don't know you might get the whole thing up where I'm actually making it rather than just the result um or just snow stories. Well, there you go. So it is kind of appropriate, right? But let's... Uh, we need to move away from that as well, don't we? I mean, depth. That's what you're getting right here, right now. Depth. Depth has been created. And then in the center, these ones are going to be like, so it's going to start off white and then it's going to go into sort of a lemon and then go into a golden yellow or cadmium yellow to be more specific about it all right should we get onto the book let's get onto the book a little bit of painting has been done oh wait gotta clean this a little bit more the nice thing about the snowstorm is seeing the animal footprints in them oh they were really actively hunting and walking around overnight so it's more a positive look at it Oh, that's really lovely. Did you see the thing in that I posted in the Creative Inspiration group? So on my group on Facebook called Creative Inspiration Group, uh, which you are very welcome to join if you are on Facebook, uh, is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Creative Inspiration Group. Someone, an artist, a uh, person I know online, uh, made a peacock in the snow and then she put food colouring on the peacock and made it look amazing. And I was like, why didn't I grab some food colouring when it snowed? Because I could have just, I would have just gone really crazy with it. So if you've got any snow left, which I doubt you have if it's 70 degrees now. <laughs> but if you even have a tiny bit left in your fridge or freezer, <laughs> in <your> freezer, <laughs> put some food colouring on it. Do you know what I mean? Check it out anyway. If you're on the group, check it out. It's so beautiful. 
nature kind of making it more beautiful oh angela you're so lovely and well done for turning it into a positive because um it's the hardest thing to do when you're in a bad situation to turn it around and make it positive definitely the hardest thing to do for sure um all right da, 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 da. Mm -mm 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 -mm. all right let's do it let's do white it's time the time is now the time is now for white the psychology of white i'm not going to read you the whole thing because ain't nobody got time for that but i shall read you a little bit of it all right so the psychology of white the positive psychological traits of white white is perfection right let's not uh maybe <laughs> why is perfection if perfection exists that's what it should say why is perfection in brackets if perfection exists that's what i would have written if it was my book uh it is pure and unblemished and gives a feeling of peace and quiet simplicity and clarity well that's very true that's what i'm going for in this because uh, there is going to be a lot of white in it left. It's not all going to be painted yellow. Um, uh, but yeah, clarity. Do you remember my previous painting was called The Road to Clarity? So I'm trying to get clarity here, guys. <laughs> uh, white can clear a cluttered mind and provide emotional safety. That is really not what I think about white as being emotional safety that's interesting what do you think about that do you think white is like emotional safety i feel like it's too cold to be safe when i think about a safe color i think more like about peach or pink or jade green i don't really think about white Sherry Kane wears purple, blue and pink. I thought so. It's inception. It's inception of the highest kind happening right here, right now. Oh, yeah. Um, let's flick it. Ba -da -ba -da. All right. So tell me if you feel like uh, white is emotional safety. Because I'm not feeling that in particular... This is the interesting thing. See, this is the interesting thing that I'm going to be doing on the Zoom next week. Is like when we were talking about a colour and actually art making with a specific colour, we're going to be absorbed in the colour. So it's going to be easier to kind of like feel how you feel about things. And it's very interesting that there's always a difference between how you think about something and how you feel about something. So intellectually, why it might be emotional safety, but really do you feel that way and it's very hard to generalize about that kind of thing because emotions are kind of a personal thing right you know what leona what <laughs> tell me now <laughs> um okay the adverse psychological traits of white uh you inspired me to bring sketch dojo back yes bring it back bring it back sing it back bring it back can't sing anymore we're on youtube uh bring it back baby that's interesting white is a peaceful color so i guess so yeah i guess yes peace clarity i guess it would then be stability right because if you think peace you think clarity then you think stability or feel right okay uh the adverse psychological traits of white white can be perceived as being cold uncaring and ster sterile you see there you go that's what i would more think of that it's more sterile can be isolating and remote it may help calm the noise distraction and chaos of modern day life but it can do so to the point of shutdown 
In the 1950s, all white padded rooms and white straight jackets in psych- psychiatric hospitals were used as a way to lower emotional temperature. Paintbrush drop. OMG. Did you know that? Guys, honestly, I did not know that. I knew all the other things, but I did not know that white padded rooms and white straight jackets were used to lower emotional temperature. That is fascinating. That is super fascinating. Because often don't you wear white when it's hot outside so that the sun reflects it off? But you don't really think necessarily that it's the emotional attachment to it. That is fascinating. I am very fascinated about that guess what i'm fascinated (laughs) i've always found black to be peaceful and white to be blinding and overwhelming but that might be because i'm in the autism spectrum i'm not sure that's what i was saying it's really an individual thing i find blanket statements of things to be uh limiting And I feel like when it comes to things like colour, yes, there are general things that you can kind of say, all right, yeah, this and that. But it's much more interesting to really explore that on an individual level. Again, the reason I'm doing a Zoom next week on colour and intend to do one every first Wednesday of every month to really get into exploring colour and art making with colour. So I really hope you join me. If you're a member, it's free. So if you're already a member, it's free and it's £7 otherwise. So you might want to consider becoming a member and then you just get unlimited use of lessons plus that as well. Do you know what I mean? I hope you can come and join. Um, Yeah, like hospitals. Yeah, exactly. Yes, get Stojo. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, What a weird way to open up the chapter of why i know that's why i said this book is not like it's not the greatest there's plenty of other things and other places where i've read far more interesting things this is a coffee table book but i find it interesting for this kind of stream do you know what i mean it's very just chit chatty it's like let's talk about this little thing all right did you know says Karen Heller from the Little Book of Colour. Did you know that the best selling white paint is the hue we all call brilliant white? I mean, if you're talking about household paint, then I presume yes. Brilliant white is a man made colour that was developed after the end of the Second World War. It is the only colour that doesn't appear in the natural world which is why our bodies find it difficult to calibrate and connect to it. facts she's giving us facts karen is giving us some facts right here Uh, yeah what can be overwhelming and darkness or black can be more comforting depending on the individual yeah i think black can be really comforting it can also be really depressing exactly what doesn't make me feel safe at all yeah that's why it's individual individual thing all the way all the way oh halo i remember you sharing that photo years ago of you teaching in a massive hall with like loads of people uh was it a convention or something there was loads of people there it was so lovely i was like go halo um blah, 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 blah. so why is it so popular why is brilliant white so popular for me karen this is a no decision color choice making it easy to use in large seemingly utilitarian spaces like car parks factories stairwells or developments where often little consideration is given to the way people might feel it is popular with architects as it draws a space precisely and doesn't interfere with their design I often have discussions with architects over their love of white to create clean, unblemished living spaces and how this might impact those who live there. Well, that was sort of not as interesting as the other two facts. 
<laughs> that was sort of very obvious. That's what I thought she might have opened with. Um, so, yeah. So, that's it. There you go. That's it. Let's have a look at the world view of white. Because um, there was a world colour thing. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, okay, so white. World colour symbolism is actually super short. Look how short it is. There's like hardly anything there. So I'm going to leave you with a couple of other facts. So... Um, in China, white is the colour that represents death and mourning. In India, white is the colour worn for funerals. And in the West, white symbolises purity, innocence, goodness and peace. There you go. We've learnt something. Uh, yes, there are an isolating for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it depends like with this one when I've put white on this artwork it's you know the, the paint is not supposed to be white I've used it as uh, like an under layer to paint over the top so the other colors come out really bright which is often what people use white for right um, but I have liked it so much because it's so vivid like if you think in nature if you put anything white in a natural environment it stands out so much and it's like it can be a really good way of visually drawing attention to something in a garden so if you're doing like garden design and you're planning something out if you have a white feature it stands out quite a lot and you might think other colors would stand out more but white is actually one of the most powerful things you can use in garden design which is really fascinating um but yeah it's all up to the individual isn't it how you feel about a color it's just so fascinating do you know what i mean um i have been making paintings of judo so spent a lot of time painting the white in martial arts uniform i see a lot of colors in white that is so good isn't it that is so nice when you paint something and you take a white subject and you teach yourself to find all the different colors within white it's so good and so much fun and i've got to put a lesson of that in the academy because that is so 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 good i love doing that super fun teaching you how to see more colors within other colors and white is obviously the easiest one to see that within yes uh i don't understand this trend in home decor where everything is so white i prefer lots of color well it actually kind of works if you want a lot of color right because then it like makes all the other colors really really sing so they should have used light blue <laughs> yeah we wear white at funerals like the chinese who should have used light blue um yay okay so uh i think that's it for today guys i think that's everything so as i said i'm not going to be here next week there's no stream next week i'm going to be doing a zoom class so i really really hope that you can join it's going to be super super fun you can choose to put the camera on or put the camera off if you're a member already which a few of you are here it's absolutely free so come and join me we're going to get immersed completely in blue collect all your blue art materials that you have you can use paint you can use coloring pencils you can use collage grab loads of papers you can get some magazines get junk mail get anything you've got and i'm going to guide you through a process to create your own really simple artwork that invokes meaning in an hour and a half it's going to be super fun so i hope you can join me and we can chit chat and we can say hello to each other face to face if you want to or with the camera off if you don't want to it's just going to be like a great time so please go to artsresource.co.uk forward slash adults hyphen art hyphen classes hyphen online um, or you can just get the link in the description and i'll be back here the week after that probably so yeah hashtag truth <laughs> 
so yeah so i will see you there next week guys stay in touch social media at artist resource come and check out the members site artistresource.co.uk forward slash members if you want to learn about all things art and design and craft and collage and sculpture and stay positively uplifted get all my little secret tips to why i'm like happy most of the time <laughs> so yeah so that's it for me for this week it was lovely to hang out with you thanks everybody for joining we had a good time as always as we do all the time we're having a good time we're making it work and it's a good good time so i'll see you next week bye i'll see you on zoom next week bye stay creative bye bye bye